welcome to the Waterfleet Shaker Cemetery here in Albany, New York. We are right along Heritage Lane, which eventually leads you to uh, the Shaker Heritage Society and the airport. You might be able to hear that airplane flying overhead. Um, I'm sitting here with Mother Lucy Wright. She was one of the original leaders of the community here at Waterfleet. So she did indeed know Mother Anne, and Mother Anne cultivated her to eventually become the leader here at um, the Waterfleet Shaker site. For several years, she actually was the co-leader with Father Joseph Meacham, and after his death, she continued on as the sole leader of the Shakers uh, in Mount Lebanon, which was the head Shaker site, for over 25 years. And then she came here at the end of her life, which is why she is buried here at Waterbleet and not anywhere near Mount Lebanon. And in honor of Halloween, we are here to teach you how to clean a headstone. So there are a couple steps in cleaning, in properly cleaning a headstone. Uh, we were lucky enough to learn from a conservator based in Cooperstown, New York. The first thing you're going to want to do is give the headstone a good spray of water. So we have these handy dandy sprayers here. So you'll just give it a good soak all around. You want to make sure to get the front and the sides and the top and the back. Let that soak for a little while. And then after it's been soaked with water, you're going to take a really soft bristle brush like this and popsicle sticks actually. So the bristle brush is really good for getting the, some of the dirt off, some of the growth off. And then if something is really stuck in there, you can take the popsicle stick, which is not going to affect the stone at all, but it will very nicely get the lichen off uh, and things like that. So highly recommend these big popsicle sticks like this. After a brush and a popsicle sticking, you're going to take this product called D2, which is a biological solution that you can purchase online or in most hardware stores. And we recommend putting it in a sprayer just like this. And similar to the water, you're going to want to give it a good spray all over, up and down around the headstone. Let that soak for a few minutes, let it really do its work. And then you're gonna give it another spray of water before using, highly recommend using a second brush that's not been used before. So you can have one brush that's dry, one brush that's wet, and giving it another brushing and popsicle sticking if need be. And then rinse and repeat. More water, more D2 as needed. This is unfortunately not the best day for cleaning. You really want a nice sunny day because the sun will really help the, the biological solution soak in the headstone and get it nice and clean. So if you're interested in practicing what I've just spoken about, please contact us and we can set up a time for you and anyone you know who's interested in learning more to come here to the Shaker Heritage Society and help us clean up our cemetery. Happy Halloween.